Hey guys, I'm Harmony. If you didn't know, well now you know and welcome to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a very procrastinated video and that is how I make my thumbnails. So I'm going to be using three different apps for today's video, which is Lightroom, Fonto, and Pixar. Well, actually, I don't think I'm going to be using Pixar for today, but if I do, that's another app I use. I was going to be editing the thumbnail for this video, but I decided not to. We're actually going to be editing one for another video that is already posted. So the first thing that I do is go into my handy dandy little app called Lightroom. So we're gonna go to my camera roll and we're gonna scroll and then we're gonna go to this picture right here. This is the picture we're gonna be using. I actually recorded a night routine in this video. Um, so what I do first, as you can see on the bottom, there's many, many options, but I'm actually not going to be messing with those because I recently made a preset. So that is what the preset looks like. You can make your own presets and yes, they are free. So that's what the picture looks like. It just enhances the photo more and sharpens it up a bit. So I'm going to export it to my camera roll. And as you can see, it says this photo was successfully exported. So then we're going to go out of that and then we're going to head over to my YouTube folder, which has YouTube chapter Fonto, which we're going to be using, YouTube Studio, and Velo. Velo I use to edit my videos. Maybe I'll do how I edit my videos down the line. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and tap on the screen. And as you can see, there's a bunch of options that pop up. Camera, photo albums, plain images, projects, restore previous state, and cancel. So I'm going to be clicking photo albums. And as you can see, it brings up my camera roll. And we're going to be clicking the photo we just enhanced. And that is this one right here. And as you can see, you can change the filtering of the photo at the bottom with all these different filters. Some of them you have to buy. I feel like you have to buy something on every app. So the picture is now on the screen. So we're just going to tap on the photo and then you'll see that this button clicks up and it says add text. So we're going to click that. And what we're going to do is we're going to type something. So usually I just put the title of the video and then I add like little text around it. But since this is a night routine, it's a school night routine. So I'm going to type school night routine. And this is what it looks like. And you can curve it. You can tilt it. So I just want to make it slightly bigger and then we're going to move it. I don't think I want to um, curve it because I just curved my last thumbnail. So then we're going to click style. Style is used to change the color of your text to add like a border around it like this. Um, you can also add a background, which I have not really done. You can also change the spacing options of the text as well as underlining it and blending it but i just go over to the shadowing option and we're going to go where it says alpha and we're going to turn that all the way up to 54. i actually have exact measurements in my screenshots and my phone because i want to make sure i have the text the same every single time and then for this blur we're going to go down to 16 and this is what it ends up looking like. As you can see, this is what most of my thumbnails look like. And we're just going to do that. And since it is 2021, I want to add something that says 2021 underneath. But I'm going to be changing the font of it so it doesn't all look the same. So as you see on the bottom, it says font, present, font, preset, symbol, and done. We're going to be clicking font. And I have my fonts right here, which I don't really have a lot. I just use this during Christmas time. I'm going to see what font do I want to use. I don't... That one looks good. I think I'm going to keep that. That looks good. And we're going to put... Not so productive. Because this routine was not that productive. And we're just going to put it back to the original font. Which is Avenar Next Bold Italic. And then you just want to size it down. And then you can move it wherever you want. I'm just going to put it right there. Just about right there. I think that looks good. But I also want to make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, that looks good. And then I'm just going to put a little heart doodle in the corner so we're just gonna move it and we're gonna tilt it to the left and i think that looks like a pretty good thumbnail like i'm gonna actually use this for my video like it looks good like period 
I'm actually going to be posting this video in like less than an hour. So, so now we're going to click the little share thing at the bottom. And then we're going to put save image. And now it's saved successfully into my camera roll. And then we can just push OK. And yeah, that is basically how I edit my thumbnails. Not too much because my thumbnails are basic so very basic so i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in my next video be sure to comment down below some video ideas like see from me and yeah i'll see you next time bye